Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this tutorial, I want to go over how you can add artificial God rays to your photos within Photoshop. So we have a few easy steps in order to add this God rays and I'm just going to jump right into it. So we've got Photoshop open here and we also have three different examples that we're going to be using. All are going to be having the rays kind of placed differently. Um, the method is going to be relatively similar, but the rays are going to be placed differently just to kind of show you how it's applied to different images instead of just using one. So we're going to start right here of this photo of uh, me and a couple of guys just on a rooftop with uh, our banana phones. So we want to add some God rays coming in from the right side here. Now, how do we do that? First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to want to mask out our light. With our image selected here, we're going to come up to filter. Sorry, we're going to go to select and we're going to go to color range. Now with color range selected, this is an amazing tool for selecting colors or selecting specific areas of your scene. Under this select, we're going to hit that drop down and we're going to go to highlights. Now within this highlight section, we have a few controls. We can adjust the fuzziness and we can adjust the range. Now what you want to do is essentially play with these two sliders to get a nice looking selection. So white is what's going to be selected and black is what's not going to be selected. So for an image like this, something around here looks pretty good. We are going to be going in and just kind of erasing some areas that aren't necessarily what we want to be selected. We're just going to hit OK. And you'll see your selection pop up on the screen. Now we're just going to hit Control J. And that will duplicate our layer. So you can see our layer. If I just hit Control I, you can see exactly what our layer is affecting. Now Control I just inverts. Control I again. So now we're back to normal. So what we're going to be doing is creating a smart object out of this layer. So right click. We're going to come down to Convert to Smart Object. Now we've talked about this in other videos. Creating a smart object before applying any filters allows you to go back in a non-destructive workflow and adjust things like length of your rays and whatnot after you've already applied it instead of having to redo all these steps again. So with that said, we're going to come up to filter. We're going to go to blur and we're going to go to radial blur. Now by default, it'll be on spin. We're going to change that to zoom. And we're going to change our quality to draft. Now, always have it on draft to start because when you have it on best, Photoshop will take its time to really make sure that it's getting the best result possible. But at the beginning, we're just trying to sort out our location to make sure that our rays are in the right spot before we actually do anything. So, of course, our amount, this will be on 10 by default. Change that to 100. And we're going to drag this right into the corner because we want it on the right side. And we're going to hit OK. Now right here, you'll notice our God rays are created. Now this is pretty good. I think it should be up just a little bit. You'll notice that it's also very grainy. That's the quality. So that'll be corrected as we go through the process here. So what we're going to do is just double click on our radial blur and that will bring up our filter once again. And we're just going to grab this and just drag it up a little bit. Hit OK. And that is looking a lot better. I kind of like the angle we're coming in here, maybe just a tiny bit more. So we're just going to drag that up a little more. That's better. So I didn't before we had this kind of glow kind of hitting this edge. That's not what we want because this edge should be completely in shadow. So what we're going to do now is just click on a radio filter. We're going to change our quality to best and hit OK. And you'll see Photoshop will, of course, do its best to give you a really nice high quality lens flare coming in from that direction. Now, of course, depending on your computer will depend on how fast it's able to process this. But once we're done here, we're just going to hit just uh, we're going to click on our layer and we're going to select screen. Now we want that to be screen because we want our guys here to be kind of poking through a little bit. So how do we make this look a little bit more realistic and how do we make it look more like add to the strength? So two things that we're going to talk about. One, how do we add um, strength to our image? Actually, you know what? Let's go over how do we make it a little bit more realistic. So a couple things you can do, especially with something like this. So if you think about how light's actually working here and how it's actually coming in and affecting our image from the right side. Now, our character here. So 
right here, he would be a little bit more in shadow. He, the light should not be affecting over top of him as much as, say, me here, which is in front. So what we're going to do is create a clipping mask. So we're just going to come down to our mask at the bottom. And we're just going to go to our brush tool, B on the keyboard. Actually, what we'll do is we'll just do a rough selection of him first. So we'll just hit our little selection brush here, quick selection. Oh. Our quick selection, we have to make sure our layer is selected. And we're just going to do a quick selection here, like so. Now, for on an image like this, it should do a perfectly uh, fine job at selecting. And we're going to go back to our layer mask, brush tool. And we're going to make our color, um, sorry, our color is going to be black because we don't we want to take away from the effect. So we'll make it black. And we're going to make our opacity 30% because we just want to remove a little bit of this light that's over top of our character here. So we're just going to click once, click twice, control disk select, and that is a lot better. So now when we go to actually strengthen the effect, it will be a little bit, you know, it won't be so harsh. And you can kind of do this to push and pull the effect on specific areas of your scene. So how do we strengthen the effect? Very easy. We duplicate it. So we're just going to hit Control J. And as you can see, our effect is way stronger. And we can even play around with some blending modes here, like overlay looks nice. And we can kind of play around with these just to get the desired look and feel that you're going for. Now, mind you, I think this is a little bit strong for this particular effect, but it does look cool nonetheless and just add some visual interest to your scene. So let's take this and just apply it one more time on this photo here. So it's a nice photo of the trees. We've got a beautiful sun, uh, sun flare in the back, but we don't actually have any God rays coming out of this sun flare kind of affecting the rest of our scene. So that's what we're going to want to do. We're going to have our layer selected. We're going to come up to select color range. And once again, we're going to be having our select on highlights and we're going to just adjust the fuzziness and the range to get something in this area. So something like this is pretty good to me. We'll hit OK. And you can see it's kind of selecting stuff down here. Don't worry about that. We're just going to quickly erase that in a second. So with this selection, we'll hit Control J on our layer, which will essentially duplicate only our selection. So Control I will show you what has been duplicated. And with Control I selected, I'm just going to go to my eraser tool, make it smaller with our bracket tools here, our bracket keys on our keyboard. And we're just going to erase this stuff down here because we do not want our our God rays affecting the ground. It's, that's just not how God rays work in real life. So we're just going to erase these. Looks pretty good to me. Maybe just erase a little bit around here. And we're going to hit Control I to go back. We're going to hit our Move tool. And we're going to come back up to Filter, Blur. Sorry, we're missing one step. And that is creating our Smart Object. Very important step. Don't want to forget this. So Convert to Smart Object. Right click, Convert to Smart Object. Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. Now we have our default settings set from before, so we're going to set our quality back to draft and we're going to move this into the center since our light is relatively in the center and hit OK. Now this looks pretty good. I would like to move it up a little bit because I want some of these God rays to actually be coming out a little bit here and a little bit down. So we're just going to go back into our radio blur and we're going to move this up. Hit OK. And that's a little better. I think we're going to do it a little higher, actually. Nope, a little bit lower. It's all about finding the right position that feels correct for you. Something around there looks pretty decent. That looks good to me. So now what we're going to be doing is, of course, we go to Best and hit OK. Now Photoshop will finish that up and you can see we have some really nice God rays coming in here and kind of going over our trees. So we're going to set the blending mode to screen that will allow some of the texture to come through that what the uh, the white color and what we're going to do here is actually add a little warming filter to this because we want these God rays to be nice and warm along with the rest of our image. So how do we do that? We're going to come to adjustments. And we're going to come to photo filter. We'll just apply that and we're going to hold alt, 
couldn't, and you'll see this little clipping mask icon uh, holding that, but I can't talk right now. We're gonna hold that between our two layers and we're gonna click. And what that's gonna do is apply our mask, our, sorry, our filter only to our God rays layer. So we can even just call this God rays just for organizational purposes. And you can toggle that on and off to see what it's doing. And you can of course increase the effect by just dragging the density up or you can adjust the warming filter itself. Actually, let's do color. And using preserve luminosity will of course show you right here. So as we increase our density without preserve luminosity, we're gonna see that we're gonna get some nice colors coming in with our trees, which is what we want because when light refracts in front of a color, you're still gonna see that color through the light. It's not just gonna be completely white. So guys, with that said, that is pretty much it for this tutorial on adding God rays to your image. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, hope you learned something. If you did, drop a follow, hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one.